The best part of the day here is in the morning. Everyone's fresh, everyone's ready to go. As a parent, uh, when I drop Elsa off every day, she runs out of my car, usually forgetting her backpack or her lunch or whatever it may be because she's so excited to get into the building. When parents drop their kids off, they're thinking, you know, it's going to be a good day. My child is going to come home and they will tell me that they've learned something new for the day. Every morning, uh, we know that she's going to a place that shares our value system and will teach it in a way that we do. Children these days have so many different needs, some emotional needs, some educational needs, spiritual needs. Our student-teacher ratio on the average is about 16, 17 students per teacher. Students need to have some one-on-one -on -one time with their teachers. They need to be able to interact with their teachers and with their peers. The kids get a lot of teacher attention and that only benefits them. The teachers here are some of the most dedicated people that I've, I've ever known. They work really very hard every single day, just trying to give these kids the best education they can. And that goes beyond just the classroom time. They love their students, they love what they do. So we have an after school program, it's called Eagle's Nest. Children can stay here after school until about 5.30, until their parents can pick them up after work. And they have a snack time, and they do homework time, and they have a play time. The teachers actually tutor their own students after school, that the ones that need some extra help or some pre-teaching. At St. John's, we just set the bar high. We expect a lot from our kids, and I think our kids rise to that occasion. We have a large part of our kids that test at Pass Plus. We've had a couple of classes where they have reached 100% mastery at math, reading, and language arts. Since ISTEP has been um, a standardized test process in Indiana, we've always fallen in the exemplary category, and our test scores we're very proud of. Looking at our kindergartner, she read me a book that's a third grade level last night, and uh, to me, she couldn't do that when she started school in August. We have probably one of the most advanced computer labs that a student could have at this time. The future is going to demand, and already has a demand, that students be technologically literate in their learning. Art is the best thing ever. Everyone in the class likes it. And our art teacher, she is super, super nice. Everyone in the school is is nice. They always help you when you need help, and it's it's just incredible. The advantage to St. John's students is that they can participate in any activities that the public school provides. They can participate in sports. They've got orchestra, band. In our Spanish class, these kids learn not only the Spanish language, but they learn about the Spanish culture. One thing that, that I think is amazing is how we're using Hispanic culture to try and, and integrate and, and bring the kids together. We're a very diverse population. They grow and learn together, and it's wonderful to learn the different traditions and things for each of those cultures. The kids are very, very accepting of each other, and it's wonderful to see them learn several things about their family life and their cultural differences. Students of other faiths are more than welcome here, and they'll be treated just the same as, as everyone else. The great thing about the school is that there are values uh, that are core to human beings, period, that cut across all the faiths and all different religions. It is a Catholic school, but at the same time, it's a very open school. It's a school that caters to all different faiths and beliefs. It's really special with Father Chris because he actually interacts with the kids and it's geared directly to the students. They participate in the music. They participate in a lot of ways. So it becomes a special time for them. They get used to speaking in front of a group. They get used to speaking with a microphone. I think our school builds the whole child. We teach morality and ethics and values. I think parents uh, have 
a very interactive relationship with uh, the faculty, the, the staff here. The teachers and the parents interact pretty informally, which is nice for both parties. They can email, they can call. The relationship between the teachers and the parents here is a really tight. The teachers are very close with the parents because we are so small and we see the parents frequently. There is just a lot of camaraderie for the welfare of the student. It's not only what I do, but it's what we all do, and it's such a team effort. Plus, with the parents, the parents are so supportive. It really makes me feel just so good because I'm instrumental in their growth, but all of our teachers are so instrumental in their growth. Their kids are always smiling when they come in the door. They're happy to be here. That's a wonderful feeling because the academics are pretty rigorous here at St. John's, but because of the environment is so nurturing and the teachers are so accommodating and helpful, the kids feel that they can take risks and still have their self-esteem intact. We know she's going to a place that she loves being and uh, there's no better feeling for a parent uh, to have her be that excited to go to school, be that excited to talk about school when she's not at school, uh, and to see her run off every morning with a smile on her face and uh, that's just something that's immeasurable. Peaceful. Nurturing. Dedicated. Faith-filled. Holistic. Education 